Hey everyone, I am Priyanka Vergaria and you are watching Deconstructing Chatbots. In today's episode, we will explore entities further. From the second and third episodes, you might remember that entities are dialogue flows mechanism for identifying and extracting useful data from users' input. If you've not checked out the episode on getting started with dialogue flow, please do so for more context. Just scroll up to the second episode on the right or click in the link in the description below. There are three types of entities, system entities, developer entities, and session entities. Now, you might remember from our appointment scheduler chatbot when we said need an appointment for 4 p.m. tomorrow, the date and time were automatically extracted as system entity's date and time. It was all automatic. As you saw, system entities allow agents to extract information about a wide range of concepts without any additional configuration. Data like address, emails, currency, phone numbers are some of the common examples of system entities. Now, so far, we have been addressing our appointment scheduler in a generic manner. Let's say our scheduler is for DMV. We click on entities and create a new entity. Let's call this appointment type. Let's think about the types of services DMV offers. Most people go to DMV for driver's license, maybe vehicle registration, also driving tests. So in our scenario, let's stick to the two main services. Driver's license and vehicle registration are obviously the two main ones that I can think of that DMV offers. So let's create those two as entities. You can add more rows with more services as entity types. Additionally, you can check the box to add more entities automatically. When an entity is not available in the entity list, Dialogflow identifies that this is an entity based on other training phrases and adds that new entity automatically to the list. You can also upload or download entities in bulk in CSV or JSON format. Now, let's add more intents to accommodate the appointment type entity in our inputs. When you add set an appointment for driver's license for 3 p.m. tomorrow, driver's license is identified as developer entity that we just set up, while time and date are obviously system entities. Add a few more training phrases like these. Now, remember slot filling from episode 3 when we built our appointment scheduler? To book an accurate appointment, we needed to make appointment type a required field just like time and date. Let's define the right prompt for when a user does not provide us the appointment type. Now, while we are at it, let's modify our response to include the appointment type along with the date and time to make it look more complete. When done, don't forget to save your changes. And then, let's test our updates now with some sample inputs. The first example, let's say user only gives us the appointment type. Well, slot filling kicks in and asks for the time and the date when they want to come in. All looks good, we get the appointment scheduled. In the second example, let's say a user says, um, I need an appointment for 4 p.m. tomorrow without providing us the appointment type. Again, our slot filling kicks in and prompts the user to provide us the service information. They say driver's license, and we provide them a response with their appointment confirmation. In our third and last example, let's say the user gave us all three things we needed in just one shot. Set an appointment for vehicle registration at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Our bot has everything it needs, so it sends a confirmation response back to the user right away. Now, the third type of entity is session entity. These are defined at session ID level, which allows for a specific entity to be tied to a user and their session. Let's take an example to understand this better. Our agent had appointment type as entity, which includes driver's license and vehicle registration at this point. That entity could be updated to include a state ID or a motorcycle test depending on the information your agent collects from the user during the conversation. The updated session entity will have state ID or motorcycle test entry for rest of the conversation with your user. 
Well, try this out on your own and let me know how it goes in the comments below. Remember, you will create, manage, and update session entities using the API. All right, that was a lot. So let's summarize. Today, we looked at the three types of entities, system entity, developer entity, and session entities. Then we went hands-on and learned how to set up these entities in our appointment scheduler chatbot. Don't miss the next episode of Deconstructing Chatbots because we are going to integrate our appointment scheduler with Twilio Messaging Service.